everyone, I'm Sally Adovino Olcordi and I'm here with Tuya Viscarondo and we are here to establish what is important to Tuya Viscarondo. What is important to you, Tuya? Uh, justice. Justice. Would you like to expand upon that? Expound uh, upon that? Yeah, I, I uh, was having some landlord and tenant problems. I, I took a landlord to housing court and uh, he interrupted that uh, housing court case that I made against him for lack of uh, services and rent fraud. And uh, he took me to Supreme Court and he uh, had a guardian appointed without anyone proving I'm incapacitated. They took all my money, they locked me out of the apartment, they charged me for the locks, they charged me for the lawyers, they, they hoarded my money, they refused to give it to me, to, to move into a hotel even. And uh, so I'm stuck in the shelter, I'm trying to find somebody to get rid of these gardens and I'm just getting a run around all over the place. And uh, meanwhile, this is, you know, this is illegal. These are misdemeanors. They can be fined in jail for this. So what we have to do is write legislation to prevent such an act from yeah. happening. Now, he wants your apartment because yeah. he can get more money from it from the next tenant. Yeah. So he has you basically committed. Yeah, yeah. So, so, that, so that he can get his hands on your apartment and raise the rent. Yeah. Now, since when can a landlord... Yeah, it's illegal. Can't, right. So, well, uh, that's why I want to be really clear about what the situation is here because this is the kind of legislation that must be written to protect women from such scams yeah. and subsequent destitution, yeah. right? So I charge you with that, Tuya Viscarondo. You must write the legislation that will... <laughs> no! That if you can't, who can, right? Yeah. Right. And what has been done to you is, is a... a Cathartic yeah. catastrophe. It is. It is. It's turned your life upside down. Is your mother still alive to a nervous? Yeah, she'll, she'll be 100 in February. Oh my God. And, and they just shoved her in a in, in Kohler Hospital without her wanting to go there. Just and she had. Yeah. There was no reason to put her there. No, they had no court case. It just you know somebody. Killed so her. is she still in that hospital? Yeah, and, and she's just there for room and board. They, it's not even a medical reason that she's there, and even if she had medical reasons, so she now why now care. why wouldn't the state be interested in? I'm assuming this is costing the state money. Yeah, who is it costing money? money? The state? Yeah, because it's Medicaid for so it's it, Medicare. So it would for make it. sense for the state to intervene yeah. on both of your behalves exactly. and um, and clear this up so the two of you can move back into your apartment and live without costing the state. You're, you're, you're literally wards of the state at this point. Yeah, yeah, yes, so this Literally just doesn't are, make sense. If I ran the state, I most certainly would uh, make sure that funding was available, with the minimal funding, to get to the bottom of this and get these men... Um, yeah, they are men. I'm sure they are men. men. How did I know that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm psychic. Um, but anyway, so no, tell us what else is important. Before all these really truly cathartic things happen to you. What else is important to you besides the, the basics, which is shelter? Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. It was, you know, I'm a low-income person and uh, I don't have any skills. I, didn't, I never knew where to get skills without costing me money and, you know, the, you, know, you, know you can't make money if right. you have no skills. You're working low-paying jobs, you're working for your welfare check. And, uh, you know, then I, I lived in slum areas where the landlord would often burn down the building and uh, when I ran out of buildings to move in, so I had to move in with my mother, and now, she only had one room. Now, Tuya is up. very interesting. How did I get to know Tuya? Here at the Lenox Hill Women's Shelter, I had made an announcement that there was a program being offered for free, and there was no age requirement that you had to be a young person to, to benefit from this. Yeah. So I, I really made sure of that before I pursued it. Um, at LaGuardia College, and it was being sponsored by Westinghouse for people who are interested in getting, gaining training and working with their hands, fixing appliances. Tuya was the first one, she said, I'm interested in that, and unfortunately through a series of um, lost opportunities, um, uh, they did actually get back, but by then your, your caseworker, see all these things could not have happened were she in her own home. The, you know, the caseworker doesn't get in until 9 in the morning. She does, she's not psychic knowing what message was left in her absence, you know? Yeah. So um, all these things had to happen smoothly. And they could have if she had her own home and her own answering machine, or could have picked up her phone herself. And she could have benefited from that program, which was rare, rare to find a, a, a technical or any training program for somebody who is in their, what? I just turned 60 in August. Is that right? Yeah, Boy, she's looking good, isn't she? <laughs> 
But seriously, it is really hard to find a um, sponsored program for people 60. Um, and we, your mother's 100, you got another 40 years to go. I'm just saying, you know, you need, you need to learn a skill and exercise it, and she's willing to. So, if you have a training program that Tuya Viscarando, who is eager to learn to work with her hands, could benefit from, she wants to get out of this situation. Although the situation is outrageous, she wants to move on with her life. And if you can help her, um, please, please, call us at 646-354-0699 or email womensparty at aol.com. Is there any information you would like to give directly to the public? Because this is for the public. Oh, she got I'm sorry I don't have my landlord's phone number with me. I'd like you to ask my landlord every year is harassing, and harassing us, you know. Well, anyway, call me at 646-354-0699 if you can offer training or a job or housing to two of us. Yeah, housing would be my first Housing choice. is not all in a way. You need a way to keep the housing. So. All right, thank you very much from the Women's Party.